Morbid Facts, Part 300. Princess Diana didn't die immediately at the scene of her car accident, but instead died five hours later due to a tear in the pulmonary vein of her heart. She would have had an 80% chance of surviving the crash if she had just been wearing her seatbelt. Male genital transplant surgeons typically exclude the testicles when performing a transplant. This is because the deceased donor would become the biological father of any future babies produced by that nutsack. In 2018, American missionary John Allen Chow illegally traveled to North Sentinel Island so that he could preach Christianity to an uncontacted tribe. He was well aware that the Sentinelese people were extremely violent towards outsiders, but he believed that God would protect him. Before he even stepped foot on land, he was greeted with an arrow through the heart. Choose one. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Just choose one. See if you get it right. One, two, three, five, or six. <laughs> four. Four? That one's four. Uh-huh, and that's the one I choose. <laughs> okay. A 10-year-old boy is accused of fatally shooting his mother because she wouldn't let him buy a VR headset. It was initially believed to be an accident, until relatives came forward and told police about his disturbing prior behavior. On November 21st, the mother woke up her son around 6am. This was 30 minutes before she usually woke him up, and this angered him. Less than an hour later, the boy used his mother's key to get a gun from her locked box. He then went to the basement where she was folding laundry, and confronted her about waking him up too early and not letting him order a VR headset from Amazon. He pointed the gun at her and she told him to put it down. After the shooting, he told police that he was just twirling the gun around in his hand and it accidentally went off. The boy's aunt then picked him up. She and the boy's sister said he never cried or showed remorse for killing his mother. The following morning, he also logged into his mother's Amazon account and ordered a VR headset. He also allegedly attacked his 7-year-old cousin. After this, relatives went to police to give more details about his disturbing past. At the age of 4, he apparently swung the family's puppy around by the tail. Six months ago, he also filled a balloon with flammable liquid and set it on fire. This caused an explosion that burned the carpet and furniture. When asked why he did it, the boy said he had five imaginary people talking to him. Also before the shooting, he received a concerning diagnosis from a therapist. This led his mother to place cameras around the home. But unfortunately, two weeks before the shooting, they were unplugged. Police interviewed the boy a second time, and that's when he admitted to aiming the gun at his mother intentionally. He said he tried firing at the wall to scare her but that she walked in front of him and he shot her. Last week, they charged him as an adult with first-degree reckless homicide, and he could face 60 years in prison. A word? I'll give you like 10 more. How about the frog that literally runs fades by breaking bones through its skin and using them as claws? Oh yeah, that's a real thing. How about the fact that frogs can't vomit, so they'll just eject their stomachs and sometimes scrub it with their feet before they put it back in? What about this one that literally looks like the frog version of Buffalo Bill if he was successful? Like he legit looked like he committed multiple kermicides and just wore the skin of his victims. Not to mention it has a name written by a third grader that could literally get me guidelined. I'm not gonna say it, but someone in the comments will. And then there's a Darwin frog who will literally swallow his entire family, keep them in his vocal cords, and then give birth by vomiting them up one by one. You know, in a weird way, that's kind of wholesome. What about that time hundreds of frogs in Germany started exploding because crows figured out how to remove their livers? causing their organs to literally explode out of their bodies. How about the fact that this frog can sleep comfortably on a quarter, yet can somehow one-shot an elephant? There's no elephants in the Amazon, so I don't even know who nature is trying to impress. And last and probably least, you know where this is going. The fact that the surname Toad is born in one of the most triggering ways possible. The more you know, although sometimes I wish I didn't. 
Can I show you a scary video? Creepy urban legends from each state. This 70-year-old woman was awarded nearly half a million dollars for this incident. In 2019, Catalin Metro and her husband were hiking on a trail on a mountain in Phoenix, Arizona. At some point, she stubbed her toe and fell, severely injuring her face. She was bloody and disoriented, so they called for help. But as they attempted to save her, her harness and stretcher began spinning out of control, reaching upwards of 150 rotations per minute. According to the chief pilot of Phoenix Police, these scenarios rarely happen, and when they do, it's never this severe. Normally, these rescue helicopters are supposed to have a second line attached to the carriage to prevent this from happening. The helicopter did not have that second attachment. The worst part about this story is that officials claimed that she suffered no ill effects from the spinning. But this was a lie, as her husband went on a radio show only a couple of days after describing her injuries. He said he was devastated by her appearance when he saw her in the hospital. The injuries to her face were bad enough before this happened. But when he saw her, her eyes were completely blackened and her face and hands were black and blue. A nurse explained to him that the blood rushed toward her head and extremities with such force that it actually caused the small blood vessels in her face and hands to burst. So I've been summoned. If you see a woman doing a traditional Serbian dance at night, you better not make a noise. There's an urban legend in Serbia about the dancing woman. Supposedly, she does a traditional Serbian dance at night, but if she hears you and even the slightest noise, she will chase you forever and ever until you die. And to make matters worse, she carries around a knife. Serbian parents would tell their children about the dancing woman so they don't go out at night. Though my friends, it's very wise to stay indoors at night. <laughs> 